Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, no, Wednesday, because it's Tuesday right now. It is Wednesday, uh, January 13th, and today's video is really, really short um, because you have a longer section to start reading in your Dateline Troy book and questions to answer in your reading guide. Um, so today we have one new vocab word, higher, and you are starting part two of Dateline Troy in your reading guide. And um, you're gonna want to be um, keeping up with reading that and answering questions. And um, yeah, so just keep going with that. This part two is due on Monday. So you actually have a little bit more time. You have today, we're gonna talk about Thursday on our live session. Um, and then if you have any work that you want to do on Friday, it's not due until Monday. But I am going to show uh, share my screen really quick so that we can get our vocab word. And here it is. Vocab word. Um, it's on page 46. And our most recent word is pyre. P-Y-R-E. And the context sentence is, in Western legend, the phoenix or red bird rises from the ashes of its own funeral pyre to live again. Um, and that means that the definition is a pile of materials to burn and it is used for cremation. So a pyre is usually like a large um, wooden platform um, and that's where a, a dead body would be placed. And one of the ways they would show honor to that person would be that they would burn it on a pyre. So. The symbols are, or synonyms are kindling or a bonfire. There isn't really a good synonym for pyre. It just is what it is. And it is a noun. It is a thing. Again, um, you'll be filling these out in your reading guide. And then um, one last thing we're going to do with that is um, I want to show you something about the reading guide really quick. Uh, here it is. Um, so in your reading guide, there's this big long character list. This is something I'd like you to just be filling out as we are reading. And it might be something as simple as Calchas is a priest of Apollo. Um, Hector is a prince of Troy, and he is their greatest fighter. So this is something you should just have a little bit um, to help you kind of keep track of all the characters. You don't need to have a lot of words on that, just a couple things that help you remember who is who. And this um, character list that's broken up by sides should help you with that. All right, so we went through um, part one, that's due today. If you came to my 1.30 session on Tuesday, then you know that we got through almost all of those questions. We just didn't get to the last few. Um, and so now we're on part two, which is pages 26 through 51. You still need to write in complete sentences and you still need to tell me whether or not it is literal, inferential, or evaluative. Um, we're gonna spend some time with Odysseus. And we're gonna hear about some drama on um, both sides of the war. So um, again, short video today. Just wanted to kind of give you an update. You've got a new vocab word and you're starting on your next section of your reading guide. All right, have a great day. Reach out, come to my 1.30 for any help with the reading guide and come to my two o'clock where I'm doing a read aloud. All right, have a great day, bye.